Our guys were here. No unwanted. Let's follow. Find them. Well, that's that. Scorpion said I would hate Night City. Careful. He knew you that well. Probably better than I know myself. He said when I'd had enough of the city, we would stock up on canned kibble, fill a couple of thermoses with coffee and whiskey, and hit the road. He said we would get away from it all. Sounds like a real adventure. Yeah. But he's gone. Shit, B. Why is everything shit, shit, shit? Hey, I know. Look. You're alive. Still got a few things to take care of, too. Mm-hmm. You know it.
must have taken Hellman with them. If they manage to regroup and that's all. Better hurry then. That's one of our one of their right. Let's check it. Don't know if we'll find anything else here. Enough. There's nobody here. Better check where Kang Tao took him. Fast. You were right. Nomad's car did die. They tried to put her back on her feet. But the oil pump died. Pistons couldn't take it. Give us a few minutes, maybe, but they still got a head start. Left a few peeps behind at the airstrip. Rest went with Hellman. I would have done the same. They're looking to call their people. The last they want is to ride through the desert without backup. I hope Mitch contacted the Alda Caldos. All that damn interference. They're coming for him. Don't worry. You know what? What? This is my life right here. I step out of one pile of shit, only to trip into another bigger one. Pan Am. And pull in everyone else after me. I'm done. But you didn't fuck any. Promise me. All right, I promise. are looking to score brownie points with a boss on your punctuality. Better look tomorrow. Good morning, Night City! Is it a mirage? A hologram? No, my friends. It's clear and open them. skies. But don't take it from me. Get out there and enjoy the sun.
cards, Nomad. Mm-hmm. I recognize them. The, the clans. I'm in. Helmet. He has to be. yourself! Name's Martin. Those fucking suits rode up like they own the place. Took everything. Put me here and locked the door. Don't look too concerned. Ain't my first rodeo. Once the dust falls, the problems disappear one way or another, and I... I just dust myself off and get back to work. Brought a man with The man I need. Civilian. You must have spotted him. Mm-hmm. I ain't blind. Where are they holding him? Old garage. Room upstairs. Probably keeping him there. Thanks. I were you, I'd stay put for a few. Exactly my intention. Know where they're keeping Hellman. Going in. Okay. Covering you. You didn't get any customers out of here. Shit. This way? 
Anyone who don't like refueling with cameras watching them. Not many, sure, but they're all big tippers. You get me? In exchange for your terrible memory. <laughs> don't you worry. I'll forget you too. Hey, easy. We gotta talk. Who are you working for? You're in Nobu Arasaka. Do you wish to take me back home? What a shitty rat. He's about to either scream or run. Shut him up already. Not a fan, I take it. You haven't found a fan in him either. Motherfucker doesn't know who to be scared of more. You or Arasaka. Not a fan, I take it. You haven't found a fan in him either. Motherfucker doesn't know who to be scared of more. You or Arasaka. Don't take this personally. I seem to recall you were gonna tell Takamura when you got helmet. In just a sec, I'll call him. Just remember, you have Hellman, and that's one hell of a card. Try to win something with it. Takamura saved my life, remember? Because it was in his fucking interest to do so. Still just biz. He's no friend of yours. Takamura, good news. Got Hellman. Alive. What did he say? Alive, alive. Not too talkative now. Taking him to the Sunset Motel. I will come to you. Keep him there until I arrive. You got it. See ya. Better take him somewhere you can talk in peace. 
true. Like your new Chimbas are here. Is that him? Sure is. Take him outside. Toss him on the bike. Stay right there. The cavalry has arrived. Mitch gathered together a few elder colonists. <clears throat> the road was clear. I don't think we were spotted. We would still do better not to hang around too long. What do you plan to do with him? Just gotta ask him a few important questions. I sure hope you get some important answers. Saul. Everything's done here. All clear. I heard Mitch is alive thanks to you. Thanks to V and Pan Am. They both saved my ass. I just hope he was worth it. Saul, I tried to raise Scorpion. Maybe I could help out somehow? I think you've helped enough. I tried to stop him. Sure. Just turn around now. Let it all be damned. You're good at that, aren't you? Look, Saul. It really wasn't Pan Am's fault. Careful. You and me are not buddy-buddy. Besides, nobody's blamed anyone for anything yet. Sure. Right. Pan Am was just helping me. It was my doing. My fault that A.V. got hit. Without me, Scorpion and his people wouldn't have gone out to grab it. That's the truth. When you're an Aldo Caldo, you are always responsible for yourself and your people. The circumstances change nothing. Perhaps Pan Am should ask herself if she's still an Aldo Caldo. Damn it all! Hey, don't worry about Saul. He'll get over it. I don't give a damn. But he gives a damn about you, Pan Am. As soon as he heard what had happened, he ordered us to follow you. He was worried something would happen. Saul? That was his? Look, maybe you two don't see eye to eye at the moment, but your family and Saul will do anything for family. The thing is, am I even part of the family anymore? You know you are. Come back to us. <sighs> I understand. Sorry you had to witness that. Things just get complicated. Dramatic sometimes. But I will manage. And you. You look out for yourself, all right? So, Mitch. They really treat you like family. Maybe you should give them a chance. It is not that simple. Like any family. They're coming. You have about a minute to get out of there. Let's move! I'm also headed out. Take care of Scorpion's bike. It's yours. What is this place? Motel, middle of nowhere. Any specific middle? Doesn't matter. You're not leaving here by yourself anyway. Why are we here? Want to talk about your little invention. Biochip you made for our soccer. Fine. But let's get one thing straight first. Yorinobu Arisaka didn't send you? No. This means you must have an offer for me. If your boss will pay more than Kang Tao, I believe we can talk. Nobody sent me. I got a problem, and you're gonna help me. And what does that have to do with the biochip? Got Silverhand's construct in my head. It's literally driving me crazy, and I know it's only gonna get worse. 
That is, unless I remove it. And that, none of that's on the billboards I saw. Not even in the fine print. Constructed, that's impossible. Where did you get this biochip? Clept it off Yorinobu Arasaka. Job for a client. But the client left me out and of And you decided the best place for it was in your own goddamn head. Actually, wasn't a bad idea. Construct rebooted me when my own goddamn head took a bullet. I always knew Yorinobu's plan would fail. I just never imagined it would turn out like this. Arisaka's prized tech really is in the very streets of the city. You have to remove the biochip from my system. It's not that simple. Look, you made the thing, didn't you? So where's the problem? If you're telling the truth, you slotted in a new experimental version of the biochip. How's the prototype version different? It's got a different engram, something more... Aware. Aggressive? The biochip is what's unique, not Silverhand's engram. The previous version of the chip was only used to communicate with pre-saved engrams. And it was rare as fuck and cost a fortune. Yeah. This one's rarer. Meant to install and activate the engram in a new body. When I left Arisaka, the project was still in the trial phase. How exactly was this new version supposed to work? Were you planning to have the engram kick people out of their own bodies? Is that shit by design? During the tests, we assumed that the body would be... neurally indifferent during implantation. You mean dead? Yes. Which makes what happened to you interesting indeed. How do you put a price on immortality? Who can even afford tech like this? Nobody. This model was meant to remain in-house. The prototype was Saburo Arasaka's personal commission. He oversaw the entire project himself. So if it weren't for Yorinobu, nobody would have found out. And if not for you, the project would not have been a success. This is a true breakthrough. Huh. Imagine my luck to be so fucking unique, so fucking exceptional. That mean you'll help me? Well, well. I would have to see it first. Okay. Hmm. Unbelievable. It looks like... Can't believe this Zeus the one who's gonna help us. What? What is it? What a pity I won't be able to examine it fully. Yeah, real shame. You could have been his guinea pig, too. Tell me how to get rid of it. I'm afraid I have bad news. Your neural network has completely deteriorated. It can no longer function independently of the chip. The only thing I could Woo hoo do... it's bargaining time is to give you information on a good clinic in Sweden. They'll help you through the terminal stages. Minimize the pain. Wait, you said the project was in the trial phase. You don't actually know how it'll end. Oh, I do. I just saw the construct devouring your brain. It's programmed to take over its new environment. At all costs. And your little meat brain is helpless against this. No matter what. Sooner or later, the engram wins. Yes. And from what I've heard about Silverhand, that seems to be exactly his style. Huh. I see my reputation's grown into Arasaka legend. What exactly is going on in my head? You tell me. What's it like to have two personalities? Because it's not like you're hearing voices. You are both yourself and Silverhand, simultaneously. I can see him and talk to him. You're not talking, but yes, I understand what you mean. Have you noticed the Construct's influence on your decision-making? Sheesh, give it a rest. When it comes to my decisions, Johnny really is just a voice in my head. Maybe he has a different opinion, 
but he can't make me do anything. Agreed 100%. You are one fucking stubborn. It's not host. as if one of you wins the debate. The scale simply shifts, slowly but surely. What do you mean? You will start doing things that were once unthinkable, at least to your old self. And you know exactly who he was. A fanatic. A terrorist. A suicide bomber. Well, fuck me. Who's trying to mess with your head now? That is why I believe it would be better for you to consider clinical isolation at this stage. At least Johnny never whored himself out like you. Are you defending him? Or is that Johnny speaking now? Oh, let me guess. He already tried to take over your body. You know, just for a little while. No. Would you, though? Could be fun. Johnny... Kidding. But watch out. Suit's getting ready to talk your head off. Know what? That's enough. You just playing for time? Because I can't tell. Are you trying to convince me you're useless? Because, I mean, in that case, I can just shoot you in the head and save us both some time. Ah, oh, finally. I will try to help you. If you come with me to Kang Tao. Forget Kang Tao. Got any other ideas? If you think there's anyone else who can help you, I could give you the blueprints. Complete project documentation. Kang Tao offered quite the sum for it. You got it with you? He's got you. Gonk's fucking useless without him. He... Takamura? What the hell is he doing here? He's got a few questions of his own for you. You play nice, he might even save your ass. I'm almost done. The blueprints. Better than nothing. Long as we find someone fluent in techno battle. What will you do with him? I haven't decided yet. Are you serious? You know me. I can be impulsive. He's all yours. I'll give you two some space. I hope we can come to an understanding. That is certainly in your best interest. V, I will remember this. Ah, this heat. My throat is positively parched. Mm. Yeah. What the? Give you a Fuck! Sit down, goddammit! Uh, of course it's the damn chip. My silver handosis is clearly incubating. That appointed finger I hear in your voice? Fuck! That was your tickle. Sit and rest. Don't need your flat line while we got a job to do. Blah, blah, blah. Fuck Arasaka. Blah, blah. Smash Mikoshi. You really are turning into me. Can't say I'm excited, because you're a manipulator, an egotist, and a cynic. Every time you open your mouth, you gotta bury someone. You know, we get along as the need arises. Maybe it's time you started trusting me more. You can be a charming guy. You just make the effort, charisma flows. Then I remember that nuke you detonated downtown without a second thought and no hint of later remorse. It was Mikoshi I was after. Wanted to destroy it. Gave Sokka ample time to clear the building. You knew countless people would die. Don't kid yourself. <laughs> Take lives aplenty yourself. See scale as a problem? <laughs> oh, 
got a point. Guess we make quite the duo. No, we're not the same. What I did in Sokka Tower, no doubts, no regrets. You might fool someone else with that, but I call horseshit. What do you know? Got no idea where I'm going. Be a living legend. That's all I wanted. Feels like I'm barely surviving. Test of a person's true value? Death. Facing it. Staring it down. You still got a chance to be somebody. Yeah. Maybe. What was it like... when you died? Was on top of the world. Failure not an option, not a thought. Till it happened. Death feels real now. It's only now I know it. Now? Had half a century to come to terms. Makoshi felt, I don't know, like sleep? Lacked awareness, had no sense of passing time. Didn't mark it. Did what they wanted to me. I just remember cold, a black void, fear. Or, or was that your death? I get why you detest the place. Shouldn't exist. Of all the destruction and pain corpse wreak around the world, what happens at Makoshi is worst. Know why? They're fucking around with the human mind. Consciousness. Not any different than being a farm corpse lab rat. Nah, it's something else. Worse things when they switch up your identity, and you never even know you've become someone else. Corps have already taken the world for their own. Now they're coming for us. Let's move. Get back to work. Let's do. V. One of my missing vehicles could be near your current position. Got it.
I'm Elizabeth. My husband and I, we need a somewhat delicate matter handled. We think you could help. Why call me of all people? Any particular reason? You came recommended. Yeah, who by? I'd rather not say. Not over the phone. Is there any way we could meet? Discuss some details? Sure, let's do that. I'll send you the address. See you. barricaded himself at home. The neighbors heard shots. Figure out the sitch and keep me posted, okay? Sending details now.
V, how you doing, honey? Listen, got a golden opportunity for you. Word on the streets that when Waco says golden, it's usually a turd wrapped in crepe paper. It's a sticky situation. So what's the spec? Perp being proven guilty, meaning he deserves to die, truly? Do I look like a criminal prosecutor to you? What did he do exactly? I'm not a beat reporter, neither. You want the job or not? All right, I'm in. Good. Client will be waiting for you by a car at the corner of 6th and Brandon. Huh, in a car? Client wants to tag along. Be there in person when you put a bullet through the guy's eye. Good luck.
Thank you. 